Hello everyone, this is Matt Racine, the author of Bar Exam Mind, a strategy guide for an anxiety-free bar exam, and Mater D over at BarExamMind.com. In this fifth episode of the Bar Exam Mind podcast, I wanted to talk to you about study strategies for the multi-state bar examination. Now I think the easiest way to sum up study strategy for the MBE is repetition. Uh, you want to just keep plowing through practice question after practice question until you get to the point where the questions are easy for you to answer, or maybe easy is the wrong word, that you are proficient and above average in answering the questions. Now, uh, this for some people, this is a very quick level to attain. I read some other bar exam blogs and people say they only did maybe 50 to 100 practice questions per uh, subject area and that was that. Um, If you're in that boat you're lucky and you can study um, your essays a lot more. If you're in a situation like I was you know the first maybe 500 questions you do you're feeling completely lost and adrift and saying to yourself I am never going to get this but you'll get it. Part of the problem uh, at the beginning Well, there's two parts. One is that, uh, in my opinion, the MBE is designed to trick you. The questions are worded in such a way that usually you can narrow it down to one of two answers, and there's just some really small detail that makes the difference. And sometimes the way the answers are phrased, it's really hard to decide which of those two is correct. And the other thing that makes the MBE practice questions difficult is, in the beginning, you really probably don't know the law well enough to pick out all the minor distinctions on which the answers, uh, the correct answer, turns. So when this podcast goes live, it's going to be about um, five weeks before the bar exam, and you still may be having trouble finding these distinctions. But as you practice more with the MBE questions and especially as you practice with the essays on the same topics, you will start being able to see the distinctions better. And I think for most people uh, who struggle with the MBE at the beginning of their bar studies, when they're about two to three weeks out from the bar exam, it starts clicking, and they start seeing massive gains in their scores. So what I'd like to do now is tell you about how I practiced for the MBE, And if it seems like a good way to practice, then, uh, you know, feel free to copy it. Uh, If it doesn't, I'm going to link to a couple other posts by different uh, bloggers discussing uh, their tips for MBE success. And uh, you can take a look at those, and maybe they'll have some advice that sounds more like what will work for you. And you can follow that. And maybe you'll read everything and say, none of this is going to work for me. I'm going to figure it out on my own. I've taken the bar exam twice. And the first time I took it uh, was in Oregon. And they used the MBE up there. And when I was doing that, I took what used to be known as PMBR that is now owned by Kaplan. And uh, PMBR is known for having very lengthy questions with insane fact patterns. Uh, designed to teach you really, really minute distinctions in the law. And these are maddening uh, when I was first doing them because, like I said earlier, I'd get it down to two and I just could not decide which answer was correct. But I practiced and practiced and figure I did about 1,500 practice questions. And by the time the bar exam came, I was almost always over 80% on my practice tests and occasionally over 90%, and I thought, okay, I've got this. For the California bar, I took that uh, about 18 months after I took the Oregon bar exam, and so I still had some of the law uh, in my brain, and instead, I didn't want to use the PMBR questions again because I felt like it would, I would go insane having already studied through uh, those questions. And so instead, I uh, purchased Adaptabar, which is an online bar prep course, and did all of their questions. And they use questions that have been released by the National um, 
Board of Bar Examiners, and so these are authentic MBE questions from past exams. So I think that's really helpful in preparing for the bar. Um, so I did all of those practice questions, and I also did a few hundred in the Barbary books, which I was using for uh, the other areas of my bar prep. And again, by the time the uh, I certainly got up to 80% more quickly this time because I had gotten used to some of the tricks that the uh, MBE testers used to confuse you. Um, but it was still not easy. Um, I still remember walking out of both uh, MBE administrations, Oregon and California, thinking, you know, I think I did okay, but honestly, I really don't know. Um, I could have missed a lot. So the MBE is just kind of a confounding uh, test for me and for a lot of people out there. So you are not alone. Now in terms of practicing MBE questions, I would recommend that you do it in two ways. Uh, first, um, try to do some MBE questions on the same day that you're studying you're studying essays for that same topic. So let's say you're studying constitutional law, you write a couple of practice essays. Try to do 25, 30, 50 practice MBE questions that same day. If you don't have time to do that many, at least do 10, just so you, you know, your mind's already in con law land. You might as well try to pick out some of the distinctions in these MBE questions. Now, here's what I think is critical in terms of practicing. Let's say you do 25 questions. Let's say you get 17 correct and do my math here, you get uh, 8 wrong. So what you want to do is f review. This is where you learn how to do well in the MBE. So for all the questions you got right, go look at the explanation for the answer really quickly and just make sure you got the, correction, the uh, question correct because you understood it and not because you got lucky. So assuming you understand all the questions you got right, fantastic. Now go to the questions you got wrong and read the explanations. And spend some time reading through the question again after you've read the explanation. Look for that key word or that phrase that the explanation points you to as the key to answering that question and ask yourself why did I miss that? Did I miss it because I was going too fast? Did I miss it because I haven't learned that part of law yet? Did I miss it because I've learned that part of law yet already but obviously I hadn't learned or thought about that little particular area of the law. If it's merely that you haven't learned that bit of law yet I wouldn't, you know, don't beat yourself up about it. You'll learn it eventually, and you, I would assume you'd know it the next time. If you feel like it was a trick, the way it was worded tricked you, you know, put that in your memory bank. Think, okay, how did they try to trick me? Did they put a double negative that confused me? Was it kind of tucked away in a little clause in a sentence and not highlighted very well? Be on the lookout for those kinds of things in the future. And finally, Take the rule of law, uh, if you haven't either haven't studied it yet, or you have, but you obviously didn't know it as well as you should have, take that rule of law, make a flashcard. Or if you're not a flashcard person, make a list of rules so you can review those, you know, a couple days down the road. Review that. Review all the bits of law for the MBE that you've missed in your practice questions. Finally, at least once during your bar exam studies, I would set aside a full day and do a full-length MBE practice exam. So that would be 100 questions in a three-hour period, take a one-hour break, and then come back and do another 100 questions in a three-hour period. Now, obviously, these questions need to be drawn from the various topic areas. Most bar exam prep companies provide you with a practice exam and for something like Adapt-A-Bar, you can um, select a practice exam and it can uh, manufacture one out of questions you haven't done yet. So that's really helpful. Okay, so I hope that helped a little bit uh, with your bar exam, uh, your MBE preparations. As I said in the show notes, I'm going to link to a couple of other posts where people talk about 
how to prepare for the MBE. I'm also going to link to copies of my free MBE outlines that uh, you can use just to see an example of how I organized my thoughts around the MBE. Maybe, maybe they'll be good enough that you can just use them yourself, and if not, you can act actually see what an outline of someone who passed the bar exam, uh, what that outline looked like. In addition, I will link to my post about MBE study strategy that in many ways is a written version of this podcast, but may have a few other uh, tidbits in it that could help you out. So thanks for listening, and if you like this podcast, please subscribe on iTunes or via the RSS feed. And I'm also on Twitter at Bar Exam Mind and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Bar Exam Mind. Good luck on the bar exam.